Let me see if I can... There you go. So we just got our headlights. Hell yeah. And on YouTube. So I'm back with another video. And right here we got another package that just arrived. I'm gonna go get my knife really quick from work. Um, to open the box. <clears throat> knife, and we're gonna start opening the box. See what we got. So I got me some new style DRL headlights for the Tahoe. You just can see they're right here. And um I just wanted something new, you know. These cost like around 200 bucks, but they look badass. And um another reason I got it for is because these headlights get humidity inside. As you can see, it's pretty nasty in there. It's not chrome anymore. And on these new headlights, I'm gonna seal them up with silicone all around the edges to make sure um, these don't mess up, you know? They are expensive, 200 bucks. But yeah, man, let me show you how it's gonna look like. Not sure if you can really tell how it's gonna look like but it's gonna be badass once it's finished and I am gonna hook these up to my fog lights because I don't want these all always on I'm gonna come up to my fog lights so whenever I turn my fog lights they'll stay on and yeah man so I'll stay tuned so for you guys who's asking about um my big three upgrade in the alternator um I did not have to buy a smaller belt I used the same one that was in here. Well, I did get a brand new belt, but you know, it's still the same size um, for this OT Tahoe on um, the big three upgrade. You know, I just did it from the power to the power post on the alternator and my grounds. I did the, the grounds right there. Um, you guys can see it. Um, one, well, this bolt had broke inside, so I just used this ground as for both. But what you could do, if you still have this bolt here, you use one ground coming from here. So you can see that's the alternator right there. From right here to your negative. And from the bottom bolt to that ground over there. One more thing before I get started. Yesterday, um, I went to a couple shots, man. Like probably five or six of them. And I couldn't find any 26s for the um, Tahoe. And I'm really looking forward to buying them already. Um, and as well, I'm going to do a 3-4 drop on this Tahoe, so it's going to be sitting low. Um, I'm still going to be putting the 815s for the center console. As you guys know, I sold it because, um, you know, it was half-ass work. But I went to a shop by Lakeland, and they said they, they can hook me up with a center console um, for the kind of the same price that I paid for, but it's going to be much even better. I am still going to put the 2-8s. On each side, I'm going to have my two cup holders on a little, you know, little compartment there, but not without a lid. But yeah, man, it's going to come out real nice. And I have an appointment for the center console in two weeks, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go or we'll be able to make it because I'm going to be in Jacksonville working. Um, I leave tomorrow as well. And yeah, man, let's start putting in these headlights and I'll show you how to wire them up and everything. So here I made a little drawing. Um, to see if I can help you guys understand it better. This might be confusing, but once I get under the truck and all of that, I'll help you guys and show you step by step. But this is um, what it's gonna be looking like. So right here, this is the fog light. All right, that's the positive and the negative fog light. Um, you're gonna be using two T-taps, one for your positive, one for your negative. And, um, so you're going to be running two runs of um, new wire because it's not going to be long enough. So you're going to have to buy some 22 gauge wire. And um, you're going to splice these two together with a male, um, male connector so you can 
connect that to your T-tap, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, and these two new wires that are right here, these are going to be on um, the positive. So you're going to put a male connector on one end and a male connector on the other. And coming from your bumper light, that wire that comes with the headlights, that you're going to put a female. And as well as the headlight, that white wire from the headlight is going to be, um, you're going to be adding a female. So those two can connect together and these two can connect together. So um, I'm doing it this way. That way, if you ever want to take out your headlight, you don't have to be cutting wires and all of that. You can just simply remove it. And um, yeah, that's just for the positive and you do the same for the negative. And I know this might be confusing right now, but I'll show you guys how to do it. And this is what you're going to need. Four T-taps, eight female connectors, 12 male connectors, 22 gauge wire, um, and some silicone. Well, that's for me since I'm going to seal up these headlights right there. The new headlights. And you're going to need some wire strippers and some crimpers. But yeah, man, I'm going to be on my way to Lowe's, and I'll see you guys over there. So, okay, yeah, here comes. We're at Lowe's, and we're just trying to find some parking spots. I'm back. I got some male and female connectors and some T-taps and also some wire. This is 20-gauge wire. Um, I couldn't find no 22, but right here where I showed you that you could put... um. The milk connectors on the new wire to tap into the T-tap. I couldn't find any T-taps with that um, option where you can um, put that milk connector in, but it's still the same thing. You just tap into your fog light and um, to your new wire and you just run that wire. Um, I'll show you how to do it. First things first, I'm going to get these female connectors that are right here. They look like that. Um, I'm going to start putting them at the end of these wires on all of them. but. In my case, I'm not going to be using these lights right here, which are the those LEDs that are right there, just because I don't want them. So I'm just only going to use the DRLs right there, and I'm going to use the ones right there. Those are for the tube, and I'm going to be putting the uh, female connectors on these, the white and the black one, and not those. So right here, this connection, you know, I'm pinning it back like an inch Let's see if it can focus I'm putting it back an inch and um, I'm twisting it so I'm making it double like that on um, that way you know it's good and strong whenever I put it in the female connector right here and all you gotta do now is just connect all of them and I'll see you once I'm done you can see I already have my female connectors on all ends right there right there and the other ones right there. I'm gonna do is start removing these headlights. I have two foot and a half of wire right here. Um, two positives and two negatives. The red is gonna be my positive, the white is gonna be my negative. And um, you know, just for a cleaner look, I separated all the wires and I'm gonna twist it all at one time so they all can get twisted. And I run this from the fog lights up to my headlights. So I got it all twisted up, four wires. And now we're gonna start putting the ends these male connectors on this end finish and this is how it looks now you just run this side of the wire through an opening right here I'm gonna run it down right there and this is gonna stay on top right there and we're gonna do our final connection here with the fog light so this is how it looks like under the where the fog lights are so the purple is gonna be your positive so I'm using my red for positive as you can see right there, um, I splice the T-tap on the purple one and the red one. You twist the two red ones together or whatever color you're going to use or whatever wire. And um, you do the same for the negative. I've tapped into the black wire, which is my negative, and also twisted up my two wires. And as you can see, there we have it. And now we're going to go up to the headlights and connect them and see if now it works. Here, all i got to do is connect my white which is going to be my positive to the red one and my black one right here to the white one which is going to be my negative and I'm going to put in the headlight and install everything on this side and see if it works as you guys can see they are working and they only work whenever my fog lights are turned on they're turned on right now that's how she looks 
and this same process what I did on this side is gonna be the same for the other I'm done putting in my dial dynamics since they are pretty big um, I had to remove all this plastic and just to let you guys know that these um, headlights they're pretty sturdy they're better than the old ones that I had um, and I also put um, electrical tape on, on my connections right here there as well and even on the bottom I don't know if you guys can see it well, now it's time to just put these in take off the plastic seal them up with jet seal and I'll show you uh, um, how it looks like at night and take pictures of it so this is how she looks like these are just my fogs on along with the DRL lights there she is um, what I can say about these headlights um, they're pretty badass you know they're better quality than the ones that I used to have um, they're much much better better plastic and all of that and yeah man turned out pretty great there she is and now let me turn on the Headlights. And this is just the headlights. You can see right there. Let me show you the high beams along with all of the lights. Since I have that one mod. There she is. Both high beams and low beams. That's just during the day. I'm going to show you nighttime. It's not too dark outside, but I'm going to record it right now since I do got to wake up early to go to Jacksonville tomorrow. I still got to edit this video. But these are just the fogs along with the DRLs. <clears throat> That's how she looks. They're bright as hell, man. Let me see if I can. There you go. You can see the DRL lights right there. And they are pretty bright. As you can see, that's the original color outside. Yeah, man, she looks real, real nice. There they go. So if I would have connected these, it would be much brighter, but that's okay. I don't really like it. So let me just show you on with the headlights. Right there. And there she is. Right. There you go. Let me just put this contrast down. Yeah, man. Now let me just put the high beams, and that's gonna turn all of the lights on. I am thinking about getting switchbacks, so when I come back, I'll probably install them. I'm gonna be ordering some stuff online. There she is. the high beams and low beams the grass shit's bright as fuck man yeah man hopefully you like this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more um 26s and the 3-4 drop is coming real soon um as soon as I get the rims cause of covid but yeah, man. See you guys later. Peace.